In Norway, the one location which is super famous for picturesque beaches and mountains are the Lofoten Islands. They therefore attract a lot of photographers and tourists in general. Because we were there after the peak season, it wasn't too crowded. Another great alternative to Lofoten are the Westerolen. These islands are right next to Lofoten and offer pretty similar landscapes. We enjoyed the campsite of Stö, which is on the very end of the Westerolen and grants you breathtaking views for a sunset over the ocean. Westerolen is well suited for wild camping. This spot we found is next to a lake and a road which basically has no traffic. Northern Norway is great for hiking. You can simply pick a mountain which you think looks interesting and start your hike. Because everything except the mountains is at sea level, the views are amazing from most of them. Already two hours later and 750 meters higher, we were on top of one of the highest peaks in the area and could enjoy the spectacular scenery. With the 30x zoom lens, we could check out our camping place from above, for once even without the drone. From here it wasn't even two more hours and we were in the Lofoten. We spent our first night at the beach. Now Dario and Giacomo went for a hike and this time they were rewarded with a beautiful view over the fog. Because the coast is exposed to heavy winds, finding a calm place to camp can be very tricky. After searching for more than an hour, we found this elevated spot where the bushes provided some shelter. High expectations of the Lofoten were definitely fulfilled. These islands with their dramatic mountains and peaks, as well as untouched beaches and nature, are definitely a special place on earth.
It was time for Patty to leave us. He sadly had to go back to work in Switzerland. But we weren't a trio for long. Just half an hour after we dropped Patty off at the airport, we spotted two hitchhikers looking for a ride to the same place we were going. On this evening we finally tried our luck at fishing because we met so many people who told us that Norway is a fisher's paradise. When we pulled out a fish on the very first try, we were amazed nonetheless. So tonight we had freshly caught fish on the menu. The two Swiss girls planned to take the ferry to Bodø on the next day and we decided to go with them. Before we had to get on the ferry, we still had some time to explore the village called Ö on the southern end of the archipelago. By taking the ferry, we could avoid well over 10 hours of driving around. the bad weather for the following two days to get further south. In the next episode we drive down the Atlantic Road. For many this is one of the most beautiful roads all over the world.